Hello again. This is Maria Abreu from Abreu and Associates Immigration Services. Welcome to my channel. Glad to have you here. I wanted to talk a little bit about the change in attitude or point of view that has taken place in the Dominican Republic um, after the pandemic when it comes to residents. Okay, what am I referring to? Well, it's always been thought, or, or the general consensus has been that the Dominican Republic's main source of revenue um, or the economy um, depended mainly on tourism. You know, and most tropical countries will say the same. Tourism is the number one um, avenue to bring in uh, money into the country to, to stimulate the economy. However, during the pandemic, as we all know, tourism was completely shut down. So, you know, hotels, resorts, airports, you can fly in and out of the country. So there was zero tourism for months. During that time, what contributed to maintaining the economy in the Dominican Republic was residents, foreigners with residency status. People who lived here, and in the event that you didn't live here, they still had properties here, they had bank accounts, uh, paid for monthly services. So the country realized that residents are as important, if not more, than tourists. Because if an act of, of, of nature, uh, if, if a pandemic, God forbid, should ever close down tourism again, having a good amount of residents in the country, living, investing, uh, having properties, having bank accounts, just basically pumping the economy is necessary. So now the emphasis, now that the country's open again, the emphasis is not just placed on tourists. I would say that even more emphasis is being placed on residents or foreigners wanting to obtain residency than tourism, okay? Another thing that has to be said, tourists come and go. Residents are here for the long run. So residents right now are the priority of the country, okay? They've reevaluated um, their point of view and have come to the conclusion that foreigners with residency are very important and they want to attract more. So as stated in a previous video, they're looking for ways to attract, you know, foreigners um, that are looking for residency and that want to invest. They want to provide all kinds of incentives. I can't really discuss all of them now because this is still in the works. But from what I have heard so far, everything from banking to residency process, to, to um, uh, per, uh, real estate processes, it, all of it is going to be um, easier, more efficient, much more flexible. And this is in order to encourage foreigners to come to the country, to obtain residency, okay? To have their status, to invest, to bring money. So, you know, the attitude now is pro-residence. So if, as I've said in, in other occasions, this is the perfect time to apply for residency, to consider residency in the Dominican Republic. So if you were sitting on the fence, come on over. The grass is way green on this side. Well, that's all I wanted to say in this session. So we will be speaking soon.